Hi Pisces, I'm here for another reading for you today. As always, it is general and it's timeless, so just take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't for the next person. If you would like a personal reading, a one-on-one -on -one personal session, or an Akashic Record session, check out the box below. It has my website and my email. Also, just a reminder, we do have the tarot deck giveaway, so feel free to check out the box below for that too. Thank you for all of your love and your support. If my readings or my energy resonates with you, feel free to subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can know when the next reading does come out. We're going to get right to your reading today, Pisces. You have end of a cycle, Apollo, and then you have rest, okay? You have divine messages over here. Why end of a cycle and Apollo? You ended this karmic cycle over here, Pisces. You have on the bottom of the deck, beauty, grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. Aura cleansing and health, all right? Energy field adjustment, a surge of power, wave of power. Solitude, awareness, contemplation. And time and tide. There's two things about time here. What's coming through also is Kalima. Kalima is the goddess of time. So she's coming through and I get a message as soon as I say that. So there's an ending of a cycle here. All right, Pisces, you may be receiving a lot of divine messages, even receiving symbols, dreams, things like that with the Apollo over here. You've had to take time out. Okay, there's definitely something about time, of honoring time. We're going to grab one more message here too. You have awareness, contemplation, solitude, and time alone. All right, there's a cycle, Pisces, where maybe you've been in hermit mode or you've had to take time alone or time like away from the world. I'm also getting the word retreat. Okay, you could have gone on a retreat or just could have retreated. Um, it feels like you're coming out of hermit mode. You do have energy field adjustment, aura cleansing, and health, okay? You've been cleansing your auric field. You've also been cutting cords. And that has led to you having this wave of power, exhilarating moment, okay? Held, sureness of the soil, unseen help, support, and community, okay? Um, you are calling in your soul tribe here, Pisces. It feels like during this time, too, um, there was a lot of unseen help or even people that you may have not even expected. What's also coming through, though, is the energy of grandmothers or ancestors. OK, um, there are light beings and, and guardians and ancestors that watch you. And it feels like there's a lot of unseen help. I also get, though, I'm being led to grab one more card. So I get the energy of your spirit guides, of your ancestors. I'm also getting the energy of people like this actually brought you closer to people that you wouldn't normally maybe even get closer to okay river of blessings releasing constraints okay you've had to take time out you do have sensuality feminine wisdom and passion you've had to take time out over here um it feels like you were cleansing your energy You've also been going through a lot of upgrades. You can also resonate with uh, the spirit guide of the dragon. However, there is a wave of power after this, okay? I do feel like you're coming out of a hermit mode or a time of solitude, and you're releasing constraints, okay? River of blessings. What do we have here for end of a cycle, Apollo, time out, energy field adjustment, and wave of power? Wave of power. All right, you have Ace of Swords, Emperor, Ace of Wands. You're really coming forward, Pisces, In this is in your power. Okay, Emperor, Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords. Uh, Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords. This is you speaking with truth, with integrity, because you did have on the bottom of the deck integrity. Integrity, truth, passion. Um, Let's see what this is over here. Why the Ace of Swords for Pisces? Why the Ace of Wands? It does feel like Pisces, though, this comes in at a time where you've been moving through a lot of conflict. Okay, Six of Swords. So you're being held. Um, the card that said Unseen Help, um, sureness of the soil. When Yeshua was in the boat, right? Um, Yeshua was in the boat 
and there was a storm, he still slept peacefully in the storm, despite him being in the middle of the ocean. So that's what's coming through is um, you're really coming into your power here, Pisces. Five of Wands, Death card. Um, there have been conflicts here. Okay, why the Five of Wands with the Death card? Yeah, there's been conflict over here where... And then the Eight of Wands here. Let's see, why the Eight of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles? You've really had to protect yourself, okay? You have the Two of Pentacles over here. You've had to protect yourself. You've had to reestablish a new balance over here. Eight of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Um, Pisces, people here have really tried to come for you. You do have a wave of power over here and an energy field adjustment. Um, you've had people really try to come for you. Um, but what that has taught you is to stand in your truth and your power. Okay? But when it comes to your truth, it feels like you've had a lot of outward resistance when it comes to it's you have ace, ace, ace. That's your ace of pentacles. That's your ace of swords. That's your ace of wands. But then there's this conflict over here. Okay? And then you do have the seven of wands. So there is some sort of need to defend yourself and your truth. Okay? Why the eight of pentacles with the king of pentacles? Justice. You have justice over here, okay? Um, you know what's coming through too is the resistance, this conflict. It has pushed you directly into your purpose with the fool card of a new journey. It actually pushed you directly into your purpose. The death and rebirth was necessary Okay, so it's the energy Pisces of like, even when people maybe attempt to come for you, you know, or create conflict or strife in your life. It's like, um, again, the energy of um, the weapons may form, but they won't prosper in the ways it is that people maybe intended them to. That's what's coming through very specifically is weapons can form, but they're not going to prosper the way it is that maybe people intended them to. Okay, um, because what this only led to was a completely brand new version of you. Okay, there are, you took the lessons from that and you're still standing in your truth. Why, why justice with the full card? You took that. You took that. I have a lot of chills. Pisces, this led you directly into your purpose. Directly into it. Okay, Queen of Pentacles with the Six of Swords. You know, Pisces too, like you can't, it's, it's hard, especially for people who are so open to always learning and self-development and growing and rising, you know, you can't help but alchemize situations. You're someone who's very committed to your growth, pure and not perfect. You're pure and not perfect. And so it feels like whatever conflict this was, because you have ace, ace, ace conflict, you used that death and rebirth. To come into the version it is that you were meant to be anyway. And so this is the energy of, again, weapons may form, but they're not going to prosper in the ways that the people form them. And if you're forming a weapon, well, like that starts off right there, you know? Um, but they won't prosper in the way that those people meant for them to prosper. It, it only actually teaches you. It only assists you and your journey and truly remembering who you are you're coming into a lot of abundance here pisces you do have to clear your energy i feel like you're picking up on other people's energy that's just not your own and it leads to a wave of power though okay why queen of pentacles with six of swords you have the four of swords you have the five of swords why four of swords with the five of swords two of cups why the two of cups the hangman page of cups um you may deal with people pisces who refuse to see you you have the hangman over here okay spiritual awakening it's also a card of surrender you have the page of cups two of cups five of swords four of swords 
understanding that not everyone will see you, Pisces. You have the Two of Pentacles over here. Who is the Page of Cups? Nine of Swords. Uh, you have people in their head. Some people try to figure you out, Pisces, one, 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 as soon as I say that. And it feels like there's like some energy of like page of cups or people, energy that's like a page of cups. People who, you have six of wands over here who just can't figure you out though. Or it's like they want to paint some sort of narrative onto you. They, they want what they think and they want you to be that person that they're like thinking or saying that you are. But it may be that that's not who you are you know like it may be a moment in time it may be your past it may be their projection but it's not who you are and so it feels like there's people from your past or people in general that are just kind of frustrated with the fact that they cannot whatever projection they have like it's not sticking um because it's not who you are all right why does pisces have all of these aces in here do not fall face up because you have things coming in two of wands six of pentacles king of cups that's your energy pisces all right you have things coming in for you and that's why you have all these aces okay you are meant to be um meant to be doing what you're doing i do feel like your path has been shifting as well over here six of pentacles with the two of wands you're onto something new so this really served you like what some other people thought would not serve you this served you okay uh also you needed time alone and i recommend time alone to everyone time of silence and time alone the best thing you could do is know yourself and you can only know yourself when you're alone like um like just keep in mind of think of the times in your life where you've been alone i i do know people that like they've never been alone They've never been single. They've never lived alone. They've never done anything alone. And being alone teaches you so much. And actually, like your whole life will change just by spending time alone. You'll be surprised by the things that you like or this or that or the way that you act of how it's so influenced by people around you of how you're a whole different person when you are alone or when you're single or uh, when you're in hermit mode, when you're in deep healing mode. All of that serves you and it's teaching and it's not easy. And I think that that's why Kalima is coming through. Kalima is the goddess of time, which is so infinite, right? And, and we, we see time as, as like we're humans. And so uh, we get frustrated. We get impatient with time. Spend time alone. You're not wasting time or anything like that by spending time alone. If anything, in my opinion, because it's just my opinion, I really do think when you spend time alone, it can propel you so much faster. It can propel you forward by spending time alone in your own energy field. How can you understand how other people's energy impacts you if you haven't spent time alone to understand your own energy? Um, this is actually a sacred sensuality teaching as well of uh, spending time in celibacy because how can you know how to mingle your own energy with someone else if you don't know how your own energy flows through your body when it comes to life force energy. So like that's coming through too just because um, time and spending time alone, okay? For some of you, there is a healing process here that you're meant to go through and maybe alone for some of you. It's actually going to propel you forward, okay? It will propel you forward. It's not the easiest. It feels like harder work. It feels like you're missing out. That's the thing. It's like we're always trying to rush and things like that. Don't feel like you're missing out because you're alone or in a cycle of whatever it is. That cycle is what propels you forward. And you have uh, a surge of power, upswing in energy, exhilarating moment, and a river of blessings that is on its way to you now. Okay, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Let's grab a card of advice. What do we have for advice? What do we have for advice here? You have the devil, you have the four of wands, you have the nine of pentacles. Why the devil card here? The lovers, okay? Uh, for some of you, this was a karmic connection 
But I'm also, though, getting... Um, why the devil card with the lovers? The devil card can also be obsession, okay? And it almost feels like there's... someone like watching you okay that like may be in that energy and i actually don't think it's bad okay the devil card is sometimes it's just like it and again it's obsession but it almost feels like it's like someone who's just like wow um okay why the lover's card with the devil card There's a card here, Pisces, of not even a card. There's an energy here. Why the Four of Wands? Why the Nine of Pentacles? Someone is kind of obsessed with you. That's like the energy here, too. Okay, Hermit card, Star card. Yeah, you have an energy here of being mindful okay you have the four of wands nine of pentacles um you're working on your own things over here pisces but there is an energy here where you really have to protect your energy okay um this could be like someone that watches you someone has a weird obsession with you three of swords ten of swords page of wands it gets it's the energy of like someone kind of like being inspired and i almost feel like it's like they value your ability to actually be alone you have the hermit card over here because we're talking about being alone and things like that it's almost like so everything that you have right has come from within you has come from you being alone on your journey because that's what I'm getting is a lot of solitude. Um, it feels like there's someone who hasn't like fully done all of that work that is like kind of obsessed with you. Okay, that's just what's coming through with the devil card and all of this. Why the hermit? Who is this person? That's the devil card. You have the page of pentacles. This is someone who is watching you. You have Five of Cups and the Temperance card. Yeah, be mindful of this person. Cleanse your energy and set boundaries, Pisces. Um, there's someone who, like, watches you, but because, like, they can't have you. It's like you're not around. You may not even know this person is the thing. You may not even know this person. Because they're coming up as a page in both over here. Yeah, just, just being mindful that there is like a weird energy that is watching you in a low vibration. Yeah. And it's almost like they're kind of like siphoning your energy over here. Or like studying you. Why five of cups with the temperance card? You need to walk away from this nine of cups, okay? Walking away. All right, why the eight of cups? Yeah, have the strength to walk away. You have the tower card over here. Okay, it's a really weird energy. It does feel like you don't know this person or you're not even in contact with this person. Um, but it's like they still watch you somehow and so that energy is impacting you though because they're watching you but i don't feel like you either you don't know them or you have nothing to do with this person but they're obsessed with you with the devil card and they're showing up as a page okay what's pisces advice when it comes to this person All right. They are kind of. This feels like the energy of like again someone watching or studying you. Um, 
for some of you, I feel like a little bit of this person almost like does not know what they do. They're really attracted to your energy, okay? Um, this person is really attracted to your energy with the moon card and the four of wands. Um, but it's almost like there's some sort of like remembrance, okay? Why the moon card with the four of wands? This... You hear that? You hear that? It feels like this person, Pisces... Because you have the Hierophant and the Four of Wands. Um, this person sees themselves in you almost, okay? And so it, there is an energy of needing to protect yourself. Um, but it's the energy of this person that knows not what they do. Um, and it's like not, I don't get that this person is bad. You just need to protect your energy so that this person isn't in your energy or maybe pulling on your energy. Um, but there is someone who sees their reflection in you. I have chills. Look at that. Um, there's someone who's kind of inspired by you here. And again, there's just a need to protect your energy. Um, but this person, again, they subconsciously and unconsciously, it's like an activation and remembrance. Okay, but just being mindful that you protect your energy um, so that this person's energy isn't clinging on to you. What's the advice for Pisces about this person? You have Isis magic over here. Balance your own energy field. That's what's coming through. This person here, Pisces, um, they're not bad. That's the thing is when the devil card first came out, I actually didn't even read it as bad. They're not bad. They're not. But you do need to protect your energy. When we're here, right? Um, what, what cards do we have? We have uh, the wave of power. I'm going to grab some oracle cards too. Balance your own energy. Do not fall face up. And you have share your gift, okay? So, again, this, this is an energy of someone that is inspired by you or like they see in you, they, they do see a reflection of themselves. Um, that's meant to happen. That's kind of what's coming through is like you're meant to come across this person and just protect your energy as far as like prevailing yourself and protecting your own energy. Um, but this person, this is meant to happen. You have the moon card, the four of wands and the tradition, the hierophant, um, whatever it is that you're doing or whoever it is that you are, the way that you sacredly express yourself, it feels like whoever that this person is, it activated their unconscious and their subconscious. Okay, so of course, like protecting your energy and things like that and making sure that your own energy is balanced. Four of Cups, which represents meditation. Um, right over here, you have the Two of Pentacles. Why the Two of Pentacles with the Four of Cups? What's the advice actually for... Pisces for the closing of this reading. Isis, sacred contracts and protect your energy. Intuitive awakening. You have Isis twice here. So goddess Isis can mean something to you. You have a sacred contract with this person um, that you would activate their un unconscious and subconscious. Again, the way that energy even works here, right? It's like we come into each other's lives um, and there is remembrance. You know, we all activate one another. You do have to protect your energy because that's what I'm getting is just protecting your energy because um, this person could be a little bit too much in your energy, um, watch you a little bit too much, things like that. But there's also a contract with this person for that to happen. You're meant to awaken this person. And it's not like you're meant to awaken this person. What's coming through is honestly, I don't even think you know this person. 
I don't think you know them. I don't think anything like that. And that's why there's a, there's a message here. Pisces says, just like know that there's someone out there. Um, you know, it could be a friend. It could be someone you work with. It could be, you know, someone watching you or someone that, you know, whatever it is, protecting your energy so that your energy isn't affected. But this person is meant to come across you. Now, that's why Kalima energy is here, actually. Um, because Kalima is a very loving and benevolent mother. Uh, she understands. And what's coming through is when it comes to this person, Pisces, you're meant to, this is meant to happen, 33. It's meant to. Um, and you're safe. Like, you're safe. You just got to cleanse your energy, make sure people aren't grabbing onto your energy, but you're safe. And this is supposed to happen. Okay, so Kalima or Isis can also resonate with you. What else do we have for protect your energy and sacred contracts? What else do we have for protect your energy and sacred contracts? Sisterhood. The return of Aphrodite. This reading's gonna be cry. I got chills. Receive. Allow yourself to receive, allow yourself to give. Pisces, there's someone here. Yeah, protect your energy. But no, you're meant, this is supposed to happen. It is supposed to happen. And that's the thing. It's like, um, like I remember years ago, right? Of like, um, see, I'll give an example of like the first roommate that I ever had, had a tarot deck. And I'm just like, what's tarot? Years ago, my first roommate ever, I see the high priestess card and I'm just like, oh, I remember. You know, it, it's like that. Um, you have sisterhood, friendship, allies, compatible souls, loyalty, joy, and delight. You have the return of Aphrodite, temple, birth of the goddess, guidance, goddess energy, and treating as sacred. Okay? So, there is someone here. But this is, and at first I feel like you either don't know who this person is or you have the devil card here. Like it starts off karmic or like it feels that way. But I also feel like it's like maybe the way that is that you choose to perceive that. And um, again, moon card, four of wands, hierophant. This person comes across you and it activates their subconscious and unconscious. And it actually leads them to do what they are meant to do. That's how it works. I'm getting a lot of the Arcturian energy, which that's how Arcturus, like that's how the Arcturians um, operate. They understand that everyone is working together and everyone has their own blueprints. This is actually a very beautiful reading, Pisces. There are big shifts coming in for you. A lot of Aphrodite energy you can resonate, which Aphrodite, um, I believe Aphrodite was actually Apollo's mother. And so you could resonate with Aphrodite, Apollo, uh, Isis, and Kalima. All right, you have beautiful things coming in. Beautiful, beautiful things. That's what I have for you, Pisces. I hope that it resonates. I'm sending you so much love and so many blessings to your day.